Have you ever imagined what it feels like to drive so fast that you leave sound behind? Not in an airplane, not in a rocket, but in a car. A real car, with wheels, an engine, and a driver inside, racing across the earth faster than the speed of sound. Sounds like science fiction, right? But it's not. This is the story of Thrust SSC, the car that shattered every limit, rewrote the rules of speed, and made history by doing the impossible. In the barren, windswept desert of Nevada, on a flat stretch of dry lake bed called Black Rock Desert, an engineering marvel came to life. It was a machine built with one mission, to become the fastest car the world had ever seen. Thrust SSC wasn't just fast, it was supersonic. In 1997, this jet-powered monster became the first land vehicle to break the sound barrier, reaching a mind-blowing speed of 763 miles per hour, or 1,228 kilometers per hour. But how do you build a car that travels faster than sound? This isn't your average sports car. Thrust SSC was designed by a team of British engineers led by Richard Noble, a man obsessed with speed. Noble himself had already set a land speed record in 1983 with Thrust 2, but he wasn't done. He wanted to go beyond what anyone had ever imagined possible. To achieve supersonic speed on land, you don't just need horsepower, you need jet power. Thrust SSC was equipped with two Rolls-Royce Spey 202 jet engines, the same engines used in fighter jets like the British F4 Phantom. Together, these engines produced a combined thrust of over 50,000 pounds, equivalent to more than 100,000 horsepower. That's more power than 10 Bugatti Chirons combined. This wasn't just a fast car, it was a fighter jet on wheels. But speed alone wasn't enough. The car had to be stable, aerodynamic, and safe enough for a human to control it over Mach 1. The design process took years of careful planning, wind tunnel testing, and high-speed simulations. The car had to deal with massive shockwaves, sonic booms, and aerodynamic forces that could tear a normal vehicle apart in seconds. The man chosen to drive Thrust SSC into the record books was Andy Green, a British Royal Air Force pilot with nerves. Of steel. A trained jet pilot, Green was no stranger to extreme speeds, but nothing could fully prepare him for what was coming. On October 15, 1997, after countless test runs and months of preparation, Andy Green climbed into the cockpit of Thrust SSC for the most important run of his life. With the engines roaring and the desert shaking, Thrust SSC tore across the playa, leaving behind a trail of dust and thunder. The car accelerated faster than a bullet, and within seconds it broke the sound barrier, creating a loud sonic boom that echoed across the sky. On that historic day, Thrust SSC reached a peak speed of 763.035 MAIP, officially becoming the first supersonic car in human history. The achievement wasn't just a technological milestone, it was a symbol of what human ambition and engineering can accomplish when we aim beyond the limits. The sonic boom created by Thrust SSC wasn't just a burst of sound. It was a declaration that land speed records weren't confined to imagination. They could be conquered, broken, and redefined. But the journey to that moment wasn't easy. Thrust SSC's development faced countless challenges. Technical setbacks, funding problems, and the harsh conditions of the desert environment. The team had to build everything from scratch, testing every component under extreme conditions. Even the smallest failure could mean disaster at such high speeds. One miscalculation could turn the car into a fireball, but the team never gave up. With passion, precision and persistence, they built a car that could defy the laws of physics. Thrust SSC is not just a car, it's a mechanical legend, a tribute to the fearless spirit of exploration. Even today, more than two decades later, no other car has beaten its record. It remains the only land vehicle to go supersonic, and its name is etched in the Guinness World Records. For Andy Green and the Thrust SSC team, the mission was more than breaking a record. It was about pushing the boundaries of what's possible. They weren't chasing speed just for glory, they were chasing the future. They proved that with vision, courage and relentless innovation, humans can reach beyond what seems physically impossible, and the story doesn't end there. 
Richard Noble and Andy Green are already working on the next chapter. A new project called Bloodhound aims to reach 1,000 miles per hour. It's a dream that would once have been laughed at. But after Thrust SSC, we know better. The sound barrier wasn't the final wall. It was just another door waiting to be opened. So the next time you hear a car rev its engine and feel the thrill of acceleration, remember this. Somewhere out in the desert, a machine once roared past. The speed of sound, driven by a human being who dared to dream faster than fear. That machine was Thrust SSC, the fastest car the world has ever known. If this story of extreme engineering, human determination and high-speed history inspired you, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe to the channel. We'll keep be bringing you more incredible journeys into the world of machines that redefine the possible.